Hello everybody, I am Brother Luke. I want to take a minute now just to compare the teachings that we find in the book of James with what we find in the Pauline epistles. I believe that there was strife and disagreement in the early church over the role of Judaism. Should Judaism continue to be practiced or should we move on past Judaism and now just simply rely entirely on Jesus for our salvation? <clears throat> I think that this argument uh, is well documented. When you look at the book of James closely and you read the Pauline epistles and the book of Acts, um, you'll see that um, there's many examples uh, in uh, Galatians, um, Acts 10, Acts 11, Acts 15, Acts 21, and the book of James. <clears throat> but I want to take a minute just to try to do a kind of a dramatic illustration. And then I'm going to ask you to draw your own conclusion. So let me do, put on my uh, acting uh, face. I'm going to now pretend that I am the Apostle Paul when I'm wearing the hat because Paul's message is about Jesus. And when I'm not wearing the hat, I'll be uh, acting as I am James, uh, the writer of the book of James. Uh, there's no G Jesus hat because his book really is about the law and works rather than Jesus. So let's see if this is, can be proven or illustrated with this uh, dramatic reading I'm going to attempt. <clears throat> okay, this is starting off, I'm James. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. It is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. By works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Now when a man works, his wages are not credited to him as a gift, but as an obligation. To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? A man is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Christ Jesus. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. By the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. Do not nullify the grace of God. 
For if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. If by grace, then it is not by works. If it were, grace would no longer be grace. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Well, there you have it. What do you think? <laughs>